Hello, and welcome to another Minecraft modding tutorial. Today, we will be learning how to create our own entities in Minecraft. First, let's open up mCreator. We'll go down to the search bar, type in mCreator, and then we'll click on it. So if we have an outdated version, that's fine. We'll just click Remind Me Later. Awesome. Now we'll click on our mod, and it will load us up. Great. So to make our new entity, we'll start by clicking on the green plus, and we'll go to New Living Entity. We'll click OK. Now we're going to create a mob. I'm going to start by making a pig. I'm going to call this an emerald pig. Emerald pig. And now we'll hit Create a Living Entity. Awesome. So this opens up a new screen, very similar to the other ones. And from here, we're going to select the pig sprite by going down to pig. There's a lot of models we could choose, but I'm going to do a pig for this video. Awesome. Now, there's a lot more we can customize, but the first thing we should do is actually make a model for our pig. So, as you can see, we don't have a model. Let's go make one. So, go back down to the search bar, type in Chrome, and click it, and this will open up Chrome. Now, go to the Minecraft tab up here, click it, and go down to the bottom where it says Entity Customizer. We'll click on that. So this is Nova Skins. This is a very useful resource for making all kinds of textures. For this, we want to make an entity, and we're going to be making a pig. So we'll click on pig. Then we're going to click on pig.png because we want to start with the pig model. Awesome. So this loads in a new model of our pig. We can see it. And we can select a bunch of different colors down at the bottom. And we can also make our own by clicking on it again, where we can pick any color on this color wheel. So since I'm making a green pig, I'm going to be coloring it in with green. However, I'm going to take a little minute and customize it as much as I want, and you should too. All right, so I've finished my pig entity. I have colored it green as much as I want, and now it looks very green and very emerald-like. So now that I'm happy with it, I'm going to click on Save. Click on here, and now we want to navigate to where it says Download. So we'll click on Download. And now we right click. And this is going to open up a little tab right here. We'll click Save Image As. And then I have it set to Downloads, but you can choose any folder. Just make sure you remember it. And I'm going to call this Emerald Pig and hit Save. So it's downloaded it for me. So now let's go back to mCreator. Now we'll import the texture. So we'll click on the plus. And then we'll find Emerald Pig, just where we saved it. So I'll click on this and hit open. Now it's saved and imported into our mod, but we didn't select it yet. So we'll click on this drop down menu right here. And then we'll click Emerald Pig. Now the texture is applied to the mob and that is perfect. So now that we've done this, we'll do some more stuff. So living sound, this is what it's gonna sound like when it's ambient and just around here. So we'll scroll down to where it says entity.pig ambient. And we'll click this and we'll hit OK. Now we also want the step sound, so we'll click on this and we'll scroll down to entity.pig.step. Perfect. So we'll click on this one and then we're done with this menu. So now let's go to behavior. And you can see that the mob right now will be aggressive and we don't want that, so we'll click on mob and we'll make it a creature so it's passive. Now, we want to set something for this mob to drop when we kill it. And specifically, I want this to be the diamond I made in the last video. So I'll click on this and click on my green diamond and use selected item. You can use a vanilla item or a mod element. So in this case, we're using one of our mob elements. So we need to define some attributes. Undefined is fine. We don't need to change that at all. All of this is fine. Entity health could be... We'll make it eight, this would be four hearts. And then we'll go to spawning. Now, we want this to spawn in a couple places. I wanna make it spawn in a jungle. So I'll select jungle. I also want it to spawn in jungle hills, so I'll select that. And then I want it to spawn in jungle edge. 
Now I want it to spawn, ah, four, four is fine in a group, and we'll make the spawn weight 100. We want a lot of these to spawn so we can find them. Now I also want this to spawn in a plains biome, so I'll select plains. There. And I also want it to spawn in a swamp, so I'll click on that. Now this will spawn in a couple places, which is really good. So we also want to change the, mo the natural type of spawning, and we don't want it on monster, we want it on creature. And that seems to be just about good. So we'll click on Save Mod Element. And now it will load in, and we saved our Emerald Pig. And then we'll start up a new version of Minecraft right here. And we will test to see if we can find our mob in-game. I'll make this full screen. And then I go to single player, create new world. Make sure you create a new one every time you're testing something. We'll make this creative and create. Awesome. So we spawned in a plains biome, it seems. Oh, this is Savannah. Plains are over here, though. And just like that, you can see our green pigs, emerald pigs, have spawned. And they look beautiful. And to test their drops to make sure, we're going to have to slaughter one. And it does drop the green diamond that we made earlier. Awesome. That is the extent of how you're going to make a mob in Minecraft. I hope you found this video helpful. And feel free to modify change anything you saw in this tutorial to make your own mobs. Have a great time modding!